like a hell cut. Hello, good morning. Uh, my name is Dad Jagger once again. This is a Blooming Edge uh, YouTube channel. We are live in Gallant, Texas. First of all, you see me with my big mug of coffee. It's raining. <laughs> it's been raining hard and dark for like 4 or 5 a.m. today. But this is uh, 9 a.m. and we are here. We uh, we just bought this property uh, and uh, you know uh, also we're going to flip it. Um, you might hear some noise inside my contractors. We just closed on the property yesterday and already the, con the, the contractor team, they're already inside. They are doing all the demolition. So we're going to do the property walkthrough along with the demolition together. There's not too much demo that needs to be done anyways, but there's a lot of work that needs to be done. Uh, I already have all these things outlined on my phone. So I'll walk you through what we need to do and how we are, are going to go through this whole process. The whole process for the demolition should probably take us, no, the whole process for the rehab should probably take us like six weeks. Um, we bought this property for $240,000. Our estimate to fix right now is $33,000, but uh, I just heard uh, the house wasn't grounded. The house was built in 1959, so for some reason it wasn't grounded, I don't know. Uh, so that's going to cost us extra money, which was a part of what we anticipated. So, you can hear the thunder. <laughs> My camera woman is losing her ears because of the thunder. Anyways, let me start from the front. As you can see, uh, let me walk you through what we're going to be doing. We'll take care of the lawn. Um, the lawn is very grown. We'll take care of the lawn. We'll cut some of the trees. Uh, we're going to cover this uh, front uh, pole. Uh, all these poles, we're going to cover them with cedar wood to make them look re re really nice. We're going to power wash the windows. Power wash all the windows. We, we, are, we will paint the house, clean all the decks right here, clean the gutters. The front will be painted. I think we chose uh, white. So white ceiling. Uh, it's going to be painted white right here. We are not going to paint this, uh, paint this wall. Then the inside of the house will be painted in gray. So that is, we are definitely going to change the mailbox. It's also Change uh, the uh, the number of the house. So these are some of the things we're going to see that's going to change in the front of the property. Let's go inside. There's so much that we need to do on the inside. I'll walk you through everything. What we are going to be adding. What we're going to take away. So join me as we get along. All right. So we are here in the uh, main building. This is like the dining area. But what we want to do is for this property. First of all. And, uh, this wall, we don't break this wall probably all the way to the outline or all the way down, depending on what we see to the beam up there. So, once we climb into the beam, uh, into the roof, we check out the beam, we'll see where we can actually make an entrance to the art to the pool. But we're going to open it up to make it an open concept. Right here, we are going to break this wall and we're going to have a French door to make this place a study. This is the pantry. I'll show you the pantry on the bottom part of the side. But we're going to go inside there, make it uh, a, uh, you know, the furniture right here, so that we can actually have uh, a study room. I like when the property has a study room. No, I like to be it. So that's what we're going to do right there. And those are the changes we're going to make uh, into this current area. We put some lights in there. As you can see, there's not too much light up there. So we'll add a lot of light in to make sure that everything is very bright. All right, uh, as you can see, I have my contractors about they are already working with the demolition. So you might see a lot of places moving uh, back and forth. And uh, so you might also hear some sound. You, know, you might hear sounds, uh, you know, people breaking stuff and everything. Like I said, I have the update we're going to be doing here on my phone. So I'm trying to go through the list. And that's why you see me looking through stuff. Um, in the living room, we're going to take out this cabinet. First of all, take out this cabinet. We're going to be the chef right here. I think uh, that will make it easier for us to have a nice place. This is a very old uh, cabinet. <laughs> Alright, in the living room, we're going to remove the tiles. We're going to remove all the tiles and we're going to put the metal uh, flooring so that the house will be. This, this is quite old. So this old house, we're going to change the vinyl on the floor to make it look more modern. Okay, so in the pantry section, this is the pantry that we are going to turn into the study room. Uh, we will take out all these rails. All these rails are going to go. Right here, we're going to have a shelf. We'll close the wall so that the study room does not lead to the kitchen. So we close this wall. We had a shelf here. Put some lightning here. And also, this is where the uh, 
through double door the French door is going to be so that you can come in from the outside. So, um, and like I said, the floor, all these tiles will be gone. It's going to be vinyl clay flooring. So, you're going to see a new flooring. And we are still going to paint all this place gray, just like I mentioned on the other side. So, let's go. Let me show you what the kitchen is going to look like. You will see the kitchen is already being the, uh, uh, they are already being the, the, the demolition in the kitchen. So, let's go from there. Alright, in the kitchen area, as you can see, we have all the uh, demolition work is already going on right now. Like I said, the guys are here, we got this yesterday and they are already working at the it. The cabinet, we're going to change the cabinet, we're going to paint the cabinet that way. Uh, we paint the cabinet that way. The, this is going to change the pots, uh, you know, uh, we are going to make sure that uh, the countertops is going to be changed to uh, quartz. And also, this is where the sink is. We are already taking out the sink. And this is where you have the, uh, the stove. The little stove is going to be here. Let me not forget that that is the area for the fridge. So we actually put the fridge here. So we are taking that one out, clean up everywhere, make sure we put a new fridge right here. All right, we are going to take this out. Uh, this is a little bit old school. Take it out, paint it, make everything look good. Uh, the cabinet or everything will be uh, changed. The exhaust, we're going to change this one also to make sure that it's more modern. And the backsplash, I think the back, the backsplash should be that way. Um, I can't remember. But we're, we're going to change the uh, backsplash. My computer will send me pictures when she goes to all the home to look at the options that we have. So, you're going to see a lot of changes. Six to seven weeks, this will definitely be a brand new uh, uh, property and it's probably going to be. It's going to be refreshing to see what we can turn this into. Let me finish with the kitchen uh, before I go into the uh, bedroom. Alright, so here is the, the, here's going to be the pantry. Uh, remember, we are closing the main pantry into the study room. So, in this pantry, we're going to paint the doors, we're going to add the spicy, uh, you know, the, 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 the shelf to the door right here. Paint the shelf. This is a three layer shelf. We are going to make it a four layer shelf. In the pantry, we'll paint the doors, add uh, spice shelf to the, uh, to the door right here. And uh, you know, paint the shelf, as you can see, it's a three layer shelf. We'll make it a four layer. We can't go all that way because of the electrical box uh, right here. So we'll make it up, but we'll make it a four layer shelf. Then also uh, paint the, the doors and everything to make it look good. One thing I forgot to mention is in all the uh, cabinets, we'll add handles to them as we change everything out. All right, so this is the hallway. Uh, the floors are, are going to be changed, as you can see. This floor is quite good. Everything is going to be vinyl clip. We will we'll, we'll take all this floor out, make it uh, brand new. Um, this is the electrical area. In the closet area, not so much going on right here. All we have to do is just clean it up, paint it, uh, you know, uh, make it look good, and maybe add one or two more or layers of shelf uh, just for clothing, and we should be good. Let me, we have two closets. This is our closet one. And I think this is our closet too. So uh, the property has two closets that we are going to make sure we make the best use of. Yeah, yeah this is closet too. So uh, same thing, clean it up, paint it, make it look good, uh, and uh, that should be ready. That's gonna be an easy fix. All right. So this is the bathroom uh, too. The bathroom that uh, oh I forgot to mention is a three bedroom two baths. So this is the second bath that uh, bathroom, uh, the bedroom two and three are going to share. The master bedroom is going to have its own bath that we're going to build from ground up. Now, in this uh, bathroom two, let me show you what it looks like. Demolition is already going on there, so you might see a lot of stuff going on. So, come in. So, there's already uh, some uh, demolitions going on right here. The goal is to take out everything right here. The shelves, the, all the sinks, 
the cabinet is going to be done, new, the toilet sink. We're going to take out a lot of stuff right here, clean it up, make it fresh. Now we're going to put a double uh, sink right here, uh, increase the size of the mirror, make sure everything is brand new, take out all this, take out all this, uh, review the shelf from ground up. Uh, we're definitely going to uh, do another bathtub right here, but it's going to be brand new. Everything here is going to be totally new and the camera is going to zoom in more so that you can see the work that is going on here. Like I said, six, seven weeks, this should be a brand new uh, property that will be ready for a new family to, uh, you know, to come and occupy. Oh, lest I forget, this is going to be closed out. This door leads to the bedroom too. But in order to give bedroom two and three more privacy, we don't want someone in bedroom two to have easy access to come in and out. So this entrance is going to be the main one for everybody. So you're going to see a wall right here by the time we're done. This door won't be here anymore. So that's another update we're going to make to this property. All right, so uh, that is all for the bathroom two. Let me walk you through the bedroom two and bedroom three before we go into the master bed and I'll show you what is going on there. There's a lot of work that is going to go on in the master uh, um, bedroom and bathroom area because that place was not done already. It's like half done. So we have a lot of work that is going to be done there. So let me walk you through our uh, bedroom two and bedroom three. Then we move on into the uh, master bed. Follow me. All right. We are here in the bar, in the bedroom two. Like I said earlier, this is going to be walled off, so you, uh, the, the, you don't have access directly to the bathroom. You have to come out and come in. Um, this is the uh, closet. We take, you know, we're going to leave the closet the way it is. Paint it, clean it out. We're going to add a uh, double doors to make sure that uh, you know sliding door to the closet. We're going to add a sliding door to make sure that they can have access in and out. Uh, clean up the floor. Uh, we're going to take this out, so that we don't need this. Clean the, clean the fan and make sure the fan is looking good. For the wall, texturize, make sure everything is good, repaint it. So, this is probably going to be the biggest part. Uh, I think the previous owner, uh, the seller, wanted to be the master bathroom or something. Uh, I don't know. But, we, the goal is to make sure that we preserve this as a three bedroom, two bath. We're going to wall this wall. So we close this out so that this is going to be its own bedroom. Now, this is the bathroom for the master. When I get to the master, I'll let you know the plan. We have a big plan for this place. So but we're going to wall this off and that is about it for the bedroom too. So there's not so much that's going to go on here. Just to clean it up, paint it, look good, and it's going to be ready uh, for occupants. All right, so this is our uh, bedroom three. Looks similar to what we have in bedroom two. It's going to be almost the same thing. Clean up the fan, make sure everything is working. Uh, put uh, what we can use to pull the fan, you know, the ceiling fan. Uh, adjust all the switches, put a uh, sliding door inside the closet, clean the closet, make sure everything is looking good. Uh, we're not going to do too much uh, rehab here. Painting, we'll paint everything to make it look uh, you know, uh, brand new. Then uh, we will take out the blinds. Uh, most times when, when we are uh, buying a new house, it doesn't come with the blinds. So we don't want to put the blinds there. This is very old blinds. Putting blinds is extra cost. So take out the blinds. Also, most times the new owner there's always a preference for how they want their blinds to look. So it's always very good not to put anything right there. So take out the blinds, clean it up, make sure we clean the floor, you know, um, bring it up to speed, do all the texturizing and you know, uh, uh, moisturize and uh, paint everything. Uh, the house will be painted gray, like I said. So I think uh, but bedroom two and three should be ready in no time. The biggest one is uh, the master uh, bedroom and the master bath. Let me show you what it is there. It's very dark in there because there's no uh, power, so you might not see much. But uh, as we get along, I'll let you know how the renovation is going. So let's go there. All right. So this is the master. <laughs> this, this is the master bedroom, and this is going to be the master bath. Um, there's a lot of work that needs to be done, as you can see. Sheet rock, a lot of stuffs fan, lightning, there's so much to be done here basically, even the flooring, 
but just to start with, as you can see, the door is very small. So the first thing is, we're going to move the door by 30 inches to this side, so that the door, you know, we can put the standard door right here. Once we move this by 30 inches, we are going to move the electrical also. The electrical will move to this side because we cannot leave it where it is. So that's the first thing we are going to do, even to start with this. Uh, we will add a small canon light to the bathroom, to, to, uh, to the bedroom. We will add a ceiling fan, run an electrical. As you can see, there's no light right here. So it needs a brand new electrical work. Uh, we are going to add switches, sheet rock, tape in bed, texturize. We will paint it. The floor is going to be vinyl click flooring. So there's so much work that needs to be done here. Uh, I know I, I said six to seven weeks. Hopefully we can hit that timeline. There's going to be a lot of work that needs to be done. So that is the window. Well, the window leads, you know, um, this window leads directly to the outside, I guess, uh, for privacy, definitely. The owner is going to put a blind. But at least for the purpose of this recording, we can see what the master bedroom looks like. So uh, that's why I took this one out. Um, so yeah, this is it. It's, a, it's actually a very big uh, uh, master bedroom, but there's so much work that needs to be done right here. Uh, I can't really wait to see what it's going to come out to look like. So I'm excited for this new project. Original cost is 33,000, uh, but like I said uh, when I started, we already found out that there is no grounding on the property. So that is definitely going to set us back some few thousands. So we'll see how that goes with uh, my contractor and the electrical work. All right. So. Here is the bathroom. Let me tell you what we're going to be doing here. It's going to be the bathroom and the closet. Basically, the bathroom will be on my right as I'm right here. The closet will be on my left. All right, for the bathroom, bathroom is right here, you know, to my right. And at the closet is uh, right here to the left, like I said. We're going to have a standing shower. A standing shower, sink, and toilet. So the shower is going to be here. This toilet is going to be here. And the sink where you can brush is going to be right here. Uh, on the closet side, we're gonna have a shelf. We, are, we will have a pocket door. A pocket door is a kind of door that you slide in and out. Once you slide it back, it goes in, it's gonna hide. You won't be able to see it anymore. It gives an illusion of space. So once you put a, just right here, right here where I am. So this is gonna be the closet from here. So you can come in here, we'll put shelves all over where you can hang your clothes and, you know, um, and put your shoes right there. On this side is the bathroom, on this side will be the shed. As you can see, it's like, it's like a shed, it's empty. So there's a lot of work that needs to be done in the next six to seven weeks to get this property going. And don't forget, this is going to be walled off. So once you close this place out, this place is going to be just for the bathroom and the closet. So I can't wait to see this. I think it's going to be really interesting, especially for this bathroom, uh, for this master, to see what it's going to turn out to be. Uh, before we wrap up, let me show you the garage and there's another ADU. You know, ADU is an accessory dwelling unit, like what some people call the grammar suite or, you know, just like an extra building uh, that we bought with the property. The garage is really big. So let's check out the garage, let's check out the ADU. And uh, that will be all for the property and the demolition. So follow me and uh, let's wrap it up. Thank you. This is the living room, there's an exit door that goes straight into the garage and there's like a, a kitchen area on my left right here. Okay, so we have an outdoor kitchen right here. All we have to do right here is just to clean it up, uh, make it look good, make sure all the pipes are working with gas and everything so that whoever likes it, you know, we're, we're in Texas. So if you like barbecue, you want to do your grill and everything, you can plug all your stuff, the water pipeline, the gas, everything is right here. So this place is going to be cleaned up. More like an uh, outdoor kitchen, uh, and as you can see, we actually have a very, very large uh, garage area here. Um, so, this is the garage, this is the original garage, this is the original garage, but we have a very, very large uh, uh, garage extra that goes to the house. Um, we only have our truck here, so you know, what is going on, like I said, uh, you know. Uh, the, the guys brought in the sheet rock today, this morning, to get the work going. So, work is going on. 
All we have to do is just clean the floor, make it look good, and uh, we should be good with uh, what we have here. Uh, I really like this area because now, let's say you have a lot of friends, people that want to come around, you can back up to 10 cars here. You know, two cars can fit in here, another two here. You have know, all the way to the back there. And uh, it also has a nice uh, the gate. The gate is a uh, power, is a uh, control from your phone. You can use your uh, your phone to control it. It's a sliding gate. So once you open it, it goes in and out. That gives you, you know, it's off room. And it goes all the way. And you can bring in as much cars as possible. So, right there is the, is the shed. I don't have the keys right now, but that's like a best storage space. Uh, the goal is not to have And as you can see, it's still really, so I'm just trying to stay in the rain to show you everything. But this is a very, very big uh, uh, outdoor to the backyard and the garage area. It's really my big. Um, cleaning the area, make it look good. If you like gardening, it's a good place where you can do your gardening. So you can plant you know, vegetables, anything, tomatoes that you can do in this area. So, uh, there's so much work to be done. One good thing about this property is the fencing is really good. There's really not nothing that needs to be done on the, on the fencing. So all we have to do is just make sure that the house is ready and we should be good. Let me show you the, the, the main garage and uh, the ADU and we should be done. Here's the garage. The first thing we're going to do here is to take out this door and put it on my garage here. So we're going to take out this door, put it on my garage so that two cars can pack in comfortably into this uh, property. We're going to add sheet rocks. Uh, I like this. I like the chair. We are going to leave the shelf the way it is, we don't do it again, we won't do anything to it. But, improve this, actually draw, cover it up, make it look good. This is a basin where you can, you know, do your laundry, wash, clothes, do stuff. We'll take this out, we'll change it out. Uh, the washer and dryer is going to be here. This is the washer and dryer uh, plugging. This is uh, an outdoor uh, AC uh, that helps to cool the gas. You know, it's very hot in Texas. So sometimes you need an AC if you like to do your work in the, uh, in the garage space. So, your washer and dryer is going to be here. This is an extra basin for you to wash. This is the um, water heater uh, and it's still good. So we're not going to change this, this is good. Another thing we're going to do here is we'll change out the door. The door that leads from the kitchen to the garage is very old. We'll change it out, make sure everything is looking good. So yeah, so the garage is going to come out really good. And for the garage, We'll put another uh, electronic uh, lift gate to make sure that you can control uh, the garage in and out when you want to open it from your car or from the phone. So that is another update we're going to need to do here. So let me show you the ADU and uh, that should be all for this property. Uh, and we'll see how far we can go in the next few uh, minutes. Alright, so finally we are at the ADU. You can call it the grandma's, uh, the in-laws house or in-laws crib or something. I don't have the key right now. Uh, probably it's going to be the construction. So, but uh, basically, there's nothing going on in there. Uh, when we bought this place, it just, it's just mainly for tools. So, the owner needs to put tools and all that stuff inside. And that's what we're going to keep it as. We're not going to do much with it. We're not going to improve it or do anything special to it. Just clean it up, make it look good, ready. Whoever wants to buy the property can make improvements. I think it's going to cost around 10000 to turn this place into a set content. You know, maybe have your own uh, kitchen, to to toilet, bathroom, everything ready. And you can rent it for Airbnb. Or you can actually rent it to like a student or someone that needs a place to stay. So this is something that can be like a goal, you know, when, it, when it's all said and done. Uh, but we are going to look at the way it is, let the new owners that we're going to sell it to do whatever they want with uh, the uh, ADD. We call it ADD, we call it the uh, self content But this is it, this is everything we have on the property. Uh, there's an outdoor there that is beginning to go to the planting. Aside that, everything is good. So, um, that, I think that's about it. Uh, this is a new property, 1959. We bought it for 240 once again. Estimates we have is. 3,000, but I'm not going to sit on that because right now we know there's no ground, so we have to start preparing to add the first ground cost for the 
Now let's see how far we can go. The estimate is we should be done with 280,000 at the end of the day. Uh, but I'm excited for it. The investors are excited. They are happy with the, uh, that we got the property. We actually bid for the property. We had a, like three, four uh, other people that were interested in, doing, in buying the property and we were the ones that came out on top. So I'm really happy for this. I think it's, it's, a, it's a pure goal. So let's see how it goes. Let's see what we can do. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, in another one or two weeks, I'll show you uh, what the reality is looking like and how far we have gone. Thank you so much. Uh, please like, subscribe and share. And I thank you for watching. Have a good day.